The following video tutorial will show you how to first commit a project to your local repository and then edit a file and add a new file, make a second commit, and then uh, push your project to a remote repository. And all these steps assume that um, eGit plugin has been installed on your Eclipse. Okay, let's go back to Eclipse now. Okay, let's say now I want to commit this project here, um, git tutorial. So what I need to do is uh, team share project git next and I first need to create my local repository and I'm going to call this one git tutorial commit and push. And you can click finish. So you will set comment next to your project uh, name. Git tutorial commit push. That's the name of our local repository. And it says no head because uh, we didn't make any commit yet. So to make the first commit, what you need to do is go to the theme menu again. But this time you will see more options. And one of them is commit. So down here you will see status, uh, you will see question marks, a lot of question marks. That tells you that Git is unsure what to do with these files. So we want to include these files into our local repository. So we want to include the class path, project, and for sure the manifest the configuration, project properties, all the resources, and of course the Java source file. And for any commit that you make to your local, local repository then you have to write a, a short commit message. and commit sometimes you can see a question mark next to your file like the generated file assets and bin here that tells you that these files are not uh, tracked by git meaning the files are not in the git repository so let's see what happened if we make some modification to the file. So I'm going to add a comment just for the sake of editing the file and if I save the file immediately you will see uh, another character here that tells you that the file uh, has been modified. And what if I add a new file? Let me call it test java and click finish. Now again you will see a question mark next to test.java. This is because we just created this file and this file was not in the repository. If you have a new file like test java that you want to include in your repository so the first thing that you need to do is to add the file to your git index. So now you will see a plus sign before it was a question mark next to the icon but now you see a plus sign that tells you that the file has been added to your index and we need to continue with the next commit and now you will see these two files are the files that will be uh, updated into the git repository. The first one, test.java. This is a new file that we just added. And the other one is the file that we modified. And we have to commit the, the two files into the git repository.
So let's push this uh, repository to our remote. Team, remote, push. So this is when you will type in your URL to your repository. But for this tutorial, I'm not going to use the real one. I'm going to use my test repository. Next. And we will select master branch. Add. Next. And finish. Click OK. That's it.